All right, so what we're gonna do next, to give them a little time to cool off from the bag, is I'm just gonna walk them over. We have this bridge set up here, and we have it we have it in four sections, so I can change the configuration of it. And it's just in a big square right now, so it's plenty big. Um, sometime, eventually we'll put it just in one long line. Now the hardest part here is I have a really playful little colt right there who's playing with a barrel, and I have my mare right next to him, and this little stud muffin's thankfully still a little bit young. So, <laughs> but I'm going to see if I can, and I'm sure this won't be much of a trouble with him because he's pretty cool. But I'm just going to get him to walk over this turn, walk back over it, stay calm, maybe stand on it. So I'm just going to look here. I'm not going to let him go anywhere except over it. Nope. I don't want him to go that way. I don't want him to go that way. I want him to go over here and go straight onto it. And basically, I'm just going to block anything that he doesn't, that I don't want, and allow anything that I do do, or that I do want. And I don't want him, <laughs> daughter's laughing at my English, I don't want him to jump on top of me either. So, I'm just going to keep positioning him, and the only time he finds release is when he's in the right spot, or almost the right spot anyway, kind of thinking about it. Want to think about stepping on that. Not stepping on me, stepping on that. There we go. This is, you know, trailer loading actually right here. It's the beginning part of it. Getting him to trust. So often people call me for trailer loading, they kind of look at me funny because I walk, you know, 100 feet away from the trailer and I do something like this. And they're like, wait, the problem's the trailer. I says, no, the problem's not the trailer. Very rarely is it the trailer. I'm sure sometimes it's the trailer. You know, if they've had a really bad accident or something. But most of the time it's not the trailer. They just need to learn to follow and trust anywhere you ask them to go and not push on you. This is when I envy those really tall, obviously my little colt there is playing, um, where I envy those really tall cowboys. There we go. Kind of tried that there. Good, I'll say. Thank you very much, honey bun. Send him over here. Drive that shoulder. Drive that shoulder. Stop my hand so that he learns to follow that feel. <laughs> These flies are kind of crazy right now. It's been really hot and humid. Kind of get my feel. And I always have my horse. Anything that goes to my horse always comes out my pinky so that I have a good feel here. If I do it this way, I'm not doing the right thing. It's not getting as good a feel. Just like if you had the reins in your hand. So I'm just going to ask him to step up there. And when he tries, I'll release. Let him know everything's all right. Kind of get a feel. Keep him from stepping on me. Because again, he seems to think I'm somebody that's going to help him, which is a good thing, and I will. But I don't want him to... Uh, he stepped on his own foot. I don't want him to think that he can jump on me. I'll support him all day long, but I'm not going to let him jump on me. I hear my dog breathing. Okay. Every time he gives a try, I'll tell him thank you very much. The same thing you do in front of a trailer. Drive him on. He's a little bitty cricket, but that's all right. Just kind of help. I'm just kind of following the feel. There we go. Let him check that out. He goes, oh, that wasn't so bad. So is that all you wanted? That's it. Very good. I'm gonna think about that for a minute. If you get in a hurry, this shirt takes forever. If you don't get in a hurry, this doesn't take very long. Let's see if those hind feet will come. Sometimes the hind feet don't like to go. <laughs> there he goes. Good job. Now I'm kind of in a tight spot over here, but that's all right. Good. Okay. And just so I'm not in too tight of a spot there, I'm gonna go. And my mirror's talking to him. He has to learn to deal with all these horses going on around him. Again, if he goes to the racetrack or goes to shows eventually or anything, other horses are going to be around. So I'm not going to necessarily discourage them. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stay as safe as I can in this little spot here. But if he starts getting too excited, I'll tell him about it. I'll tell him that's not an option. There we go. Oh, that's good. But he's going to be racing with mares. He's going to be racing with 
you know, weaves like my little phoenix there. Doing all this good stuff. She sure likes to be scratched. Okay, send them back off this direction. I'm not gonna let them stand next to my mare for too long right now, but eventually I might even work them with my mare. So that he knows he has to behave. Because they need to behave. Get that feel. Thank you very much. Walk them over. And as you see, those kind of move just a little bit, so that's also good for underneath. <laughs> and I can let them walk on me. Let's see if I can go this way. on the other side. Nope. Nope. Don't run. Don't get in a hurry. Nice and slow. Good. So you just correct quickly. Don't wait and sit there too long. So again, the more you can do this with somebody that kind of really knows it and practice your timing, then the better life goes. Always let him know he's doing a good job. And before too long, it's a little itchy there, but I'm not gonna let him rub on me that way either. Before too long, I'm also have I'll have him, you know, to where I'll be able to back him up onto this, back him up maybe even onto that Phoenix there can back onto that pedestal, and it's kind of nice if they'll back onto almost anything because sometimes you're out on a trail, you get a little worried about the stuff behind him there, so I'm not gonna let him run me over. You get stuck on something on a trail and you might have to back out and you might have to back over a log. I mean, if they can step up backwards onto something like that and back over stuff, sure is helpful. So anyway, so that's how this works. And what I'll do is we'll stop on this for the bridge. And this will just, like I say, get better and better. This is just day one, the beginning start. And next we'll do that actual pedestal. See if we can get at least the front feet up on there and get them to stand there. Might even get all four feet up on there. So thank you very much.